Hey guys, welcome to the Fame Insider. A number of celebrities headed down to Cape Town to attend the launch of the new Omoda C9 vehicle. We saw the likes of La C, DJ Zintler was also there with many more, and naturally, Boy Titulo, as the brand ambassador, was also there. You guys will remember that in June 2024, she shared the exciting news with her fans as she announced that she was now the brand ambassador for Omoda. So, I mean, of course, she would be at the launch as many fans celebrated with her someone had something to say and that someone is none other than Musa Kaula and you guys know okay when Musa says something it's always I shame like just start spiraling down so this is what he said about Uboiti Tulo's attendance at this launch event Omoda brand ambassador Boiti Tulo in Cape Town at the launch of the new Omoda C9 vehicle the bravery of Omoda management to have picked Boiti Tulo as their brand ambassador. Meanwhile, the said Boiti Tulo can't even sell any of her many, many products. You guys, I'm just thinking to myself, was that even necessary? Unfortunately, man, in South Africa, when it comes to entrepreneurship, people will only celebrate you once you make it. Like when you make it to the level of it's even visible that you have made it, that's when they clap hands for you. But if you're out there trying high shame, it seems like some people are just waiting for your downfall, just waiting for you to announce how a project failed. You guys will remember that Uboi Titula had a collaboration with Halo Heritage and she dropped a number of products which were basically her own line of luxury hair care products specifically for natural hair. She also went on to drop the Boiti Pink Sapphire Perfume and unfortunately these did not perform a while and also at some point in time I remember the perfume had gone down from a thousand four hundred rands to just 60 rands now I mean of course that was a failure and Uboi Titulo did come out to announce that it was a failure you guys but I say you know what just props to her for even putting herself out there and trying you know especially when you're a public figure obviously when you try something people know more eyes on you and it's definitely more pressure and I don't think just because she failed at that now we must constantly be bringing it up. I mean she also has her BT signature which is her premium alcoholic beverage line and she has said that she's quite satisfied with the way that it's performing so I'm just like let's focus on the areas where she is performing where she's succeeding instead of constantly bringing up you know this product line that failed honestly at some times I think it is just so unnecessary.